Happy afternoon, guys. It's just literally tickled over the afternoon. So I uh, hope everyone's well, having a good Tuesday. So um, today's should be quite brief, uh, but I want to talk about your goals and I want to um, whether you might be actually harming yourself in, in being too obsessed about what you want to achieve. Now, it's very, very common for people to be obsessed in wanting to achieve weight loss and a lot of weight loss. But sometimes I feel with with some people, it can become too um, overwhelming for them and too much for them to take mentally, um, which then automatically feeds them um, into kind of the bad habit lifestyle, the rebellious lifestyle, which then causes them to um, kind of fall off track or go back to to their old ways and they find themselves back at square square one and it happens a lot um hence why pts have got a job now i don't believe the solution to uh kind of solving these issues is from a physical standpoint so in other words it doesn't matter what nutritional program exercise program i give that individual they're still going to find it very very hard to solve the problems that they've got whether they know what the problems are or they don't know what the problems are but one of the problems i see um too much is people really really obsessing over their weight loss so a prime example of that would be someone being highly motivated at the start when they start something or a new regime um and seeing some weight loss results, but then totally losing all motivation, losing all willpower, and then the level of effort drops, the weight loss drops, and it demotivates them. Now, that's where I would class obsessing over weight as a real bad thing. So you, you go off at a pace that you can't maintain, and it's all because of the obsessive nature of you need to lose weight and you need to lose it quick. And like the title of um, the live today, sometimes it's best not to focus on what you actually want to achieve or one of the things you want to achieve. And certainly we're finding this with a lot of my clients um, and there's face to face clients, online clients that all included in this, that there's some that are actually trying to increase in size at the minute and find themselves losing, um, losing weight, which isn't obviously what we want to achieve, but it just goes to show you there. Um, objective hasn't been to lose weight and have certainly not been thinking about lose weight but it's still still happened and I believe that you should focus on things that are gonna make you feel better or that you know if you repeat day after day are gonna put you in a much healthier position and emphasis on the word health here because when you think about it if you over time become healthier and a lot healthier surely then uh, weight loss, um, looking visually better is going to be a byproduct of that. Um, if you focus on strength, if you focus on getting stronger, whether that be overall or um, a few exercises, let's say the deadlift or the back squat, if you get stronger over time, surely um, that's going to make you want to go to the gym more, then going to the gym more means more consistency. More consistency gives you a better chance of getting results. So like, I hope you see where I'm going with this is like, you need to focus on the little kind of micro things or let's call them micro goals, um, which almost distract you from the goal you want um, or the thing that you want the most, which before has been a detrimental thing to you achieving um, that very thing. and. and we are talking about weight loss here. And I think sometimes people obsess way too much about weight so that when their weight doesn't change and, and that happens, you know, your weight does change day on day, week on week, but also it doesn't change when you expect it to change. If you focus so much on that one thing and you become so obsessed about it, when it doesn't go in the right direction or in the direction you want it to, all it serves to do is demotivate you. Whereas if you don't focus on it and if you focus on getting stronger, um, 
session on session, week on week, month on month. If you focus on, right, am I more energetic when I wake up in the morning? Am I more energetic throughout the day? Am I more productive? Am I generally more a more positive person, a more vibrant person? Do I look better? Um, do I feel healthier? If you focus on all those kind of variables that you know are a byproduct of um, or you know that the byproduct of all those things will eventually be you getting towards your goal, which will be weight loss, which will be fat loss, which will be you um, a lot leaner and looking visually better. So I see it all the time with my clients when they focus on a multitude of things, loads of variables which they know are going to contribute to where they want to get to. It it automatically just puts them them in a great great mindset and having that singular kind of goal or singular obsession of weight loss um isn't enough it's not it's not diverse enough and yes like weight loss might be there as a goal but you need to get more variables as goals so you need like almost like a performance goal whether that be a 5k time or a 10k time or I'm going to 10 RM 150 kilograms on the deadlift um, in four weeks time. Um, I'm going to, you know, have a daily checklist of four or five things, which I know if I tick them off, like let's say stay hydrated, let's say hit a protein target, let's say stay under a calorie range or stay within a calorie range. And um, let's say get eight hours sleep, you know, if you tick off those kind of performance markers day in, day out, they're little micro goals, which, you know, over time are going to get you to where you want to get to. So you need to give it some thought and please, please, please just stop ob obsessing over one variable. And if you do want weight loss as a goal, you can have it as a goal, but have it as a batch of goals. So weight loss being one, you know, feeling better, more energetic being another increasing or improving health markers as another, increasing strength as another. There's so many other goals, health goals that you can put in there, which inevitably will mean long term, you, you, you'll end up where you want to be and will put you in a greater mindset um, for achieving actually what you want to achieve. Um, and yeah, and it, it, it's kind of, you for years and years and years now everyone's obsessed about weight well people's weights uh, people's body weight fluctuates so much sometimes you can't even explain why weight goes up why weight comes down why weight stays the same and there's so many variables that go into a person's body weight that you just can't use it as one measure you have to have a whole battery of tests and you have to have like a whole battery of goals almost in order to get an idea of the whole picture. You know, it's just one part of a jigsaw puzzle um, and you can't just go off that one piece of the jigsaw puzzle and make like a lot of claims like, Oh, it's not working. I need to change it. It just doesn't work like that. When it comes to weight loss, you need to get a picture of everything else that's going on. It's like, Oh, well, my weight's not changed, but look, my strength's gone up this week. I've been more energetic. Um, I've felt healthier. I've bounced out of bed in the morning. My sleep's been awesome. Like all of a sudden you've got more positives than you have negatives and the weight doesn't seem as significant there. And it isn't all about weight guys. Just understand that. Like it is not all about weight. End of the day, like what would you, what would you want? Would you want to look a stone lighter or would you want to be a stone lighter? So if I said to you, right, you're going to look a stone lighter, but you're going to be the same way. Like most people would snap your hand off for that. Whereas actually, would you want to be a stone lighter? And, you know, maybe be, I, I don't know, let's say a stone lighter in itself. Like you, you'd want to look like you're losing weight, but still look fit, still look energetic. And it, so really it doesn't matter it doesn't matter necessarily what you weigh on the scales. It matters how you look, you know, do you look healthy? Do you look fit? You know, and you know, you could get a 200 
200 pound, um, two 200 pound individuals, sorry, and they could look massively different. They weigh the same, but why do they look different? It's because of their body composition. Like one is leaner, has got more muscle mass. The other hasn't got as much lean muscle mass and has got more body fat. Same weight, but look totally different. One's very conditioned, very athletic. The other one looks very deconditioned and very sedentary. So the obsession with weight needs to stop. Um, it's not healthy for you just to obsess over that one thing. And there are so many other variables that you can focus on and you can use as performance indicators as to whether you're working or whether you are getting towards where you want to get to. And it's only ever going to be achieved through consistency, through doing things over a period of time. Um, and uh, just solely using weight as a measure for a long period of time isn't, isn't going to be healthy for you and isn't going to get you where, where you want to get to. But it's a big topic. It's a massive topic. And, um, you know, people, you know, everyone's got the view on, on it and it works for some, it doesn't work for others. So let us know. Let us know in the comment section what you think. I know Sarah's put, this is what I'm trying to do. I think it's going pretty well. Yeah, well, it is going well, Sarah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I from a personal experience, the clients that focus on, you know, and this is especially face-to-face -face clients, the clients that come into the session focus on getting stronger. You know, I'm going to PB this this one lift today. Or, you know, they, they walk in the gym and they're really energetic. And I know when a client's like bouncing and when they're more energetic because it rubs off po positively on me. Um, and that's when I know a client's progressing. They don't have to step on the scales for me to know that they're progressing. I don't really have to take their body fat. It's just, you know, the reason why they came to see me was more than that. It's for them to feel better about themselves, for them to take back control of their life. And I think sometimes people forget that. You, you know, it's like taking your weight every day or, or using your weight as a measure and it going in the right di direction doesn't mean that everything's going well in your life, that you're more energetic, that you're healthier. You, you need more than that to determine your progress and how well things going so don't forget guys like the reason why we do this the reason why we get involved is yeah because we enjoy it and because we love it but we want to be healthier we want to feel better we we want to be stronger we want to improve our quality of movement we want to improve our quality of life and just taking your weight isn't going to be an indicator of how well those are going so you need more um, you need more goals, you need more things to aim towards, which then ironically will be how well they're going will be the determining factor whether you actually re reach your weight loss goal or not. So let us know what you think in the comment section, guys. It's a, you know, it's a really good topic and it's one that you could talk about and go off on a tangent like, like I have um, you know, for 15 minutes. So yeah, let us know what, what you think about that. But um, hope everyone is going well and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.